This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex, and this is The Ramble, and we go from now until midnight from New York, New York. Hello, Stephen Kravitz. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Alex Bennett? Yeah, he's all the way up there in uh, Massachusetts. Right. And uh, how's life going for you up there? No complaints. Who would listen? Yeah, well, you have a new apartment, or a new place you're living. Right. It's a house. Uh, we should uh, previously on talking to Steve Kravitz, we found out that he was uh, living with an ex-girlfriend in a house in Massachusetts, and that's it's, correct. And it's really nice. I mean, it's yes. is it the same? Paying about the same price you were paying for your other place, or a little more? No, little? I'm paying like half. Half. Oh, so you got more money in your pockets to do other stuff with. That's right. Yeah. In the old days, it would have been buying drugs, but you're a whole new person. That's correct. I'm new and improved. <laughs> new and improved. Stephen Kravitz. So what did you do on New Year? Anything? Uh, I went to bed at 10. You know, a lot of people are saying that lately. It's, Is that right? Yeah, it's like, you know, all of a sudden you say to yourself, so it's just another day that's passed. That's right. You know? I mean, what's to celebrate? I mean, yes, you, you're giving yourself an excuse to celebrate, okay? And that's about it. But otherwise, you know, it has nothing nothing important about it, you know? So, no. Yeah. So you didn't have a gig or anything like that? I haven't had a gig in God knows how long. I talked to Bubbles, and he didn't work on New Year's. Is that right? Yeah, the, only, the main job that he was offered was to go to, I don't know, some other city, major city, uh, was uh, opening for uh, Rob Schneider, right? Okay. And he just didn't want to travel. You know, he didn't want you to do it. You know what city it was? I can't remember now, you know. But Probably like San Jose. No, it was, no that, 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 that would have been a pleasure for him. He would have done that, you know. But this was like, I don't know, Omaha or some, I don't know, some place that you don't want to go on New Year. You know, so right. he, he just didn't want to go. So he he didn't work New Year, uh, and uh, you know I mean it, it's uh, it 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 is it, it, something there that I it, no I was looking at the dog. A dog? What kind of dog? Chihuahua. Small one, huh? Yeah, little six pounds. Uh, I, I used to call them kickapoos. Yeah, well, I, you know, uh, no more. Well, I used to hate about small dogs and also cats. Is you trip over them, right? And they purposely get in your way anyway. You think so? Oh yeah, cats do. Oh, cats are conniving little bastards. You know, I, that's what I love. <laughs> ab- that's what I love about cats. Is they're conniving. They've always got there's something going on in the brain up here that says, okay, now if I trip him over and then I act hurt, I will get attention. Right. You know, but with a dog, it's like, oh, God, I got in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I got in the way. Right, 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 right. Are you a dog man or a cat? Dog. I'm cat. Are you really? Yeah, I love cats. I love cats. There's something about cats. What I like about cats is they're better than I am. You know? What do you mean? They have, How's that? They, they take charge. And um, you have to earn their respect. You know, right? where a dog just gives you their respect just because you're, you're, you're the master, you know? Right, But right. cats go, okay, I'm, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I'm hungry. I love you, I love you, I love you, I'm hungry. Okay, so right. you, then you feed them and it's, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, and I, I like that. I don't want an, uh, an animal who's subservient to me. Is that right? Yeah. And you know, I had a cat once uh, that I had for 18 years, 
And when he died, I started to think about it, and I couldn't believe that in that 16 years he never uttered a word to me, that he didn't speak to me, because somehow we had this ongoing relationship, you know, and it was all done cat to human. Uh, and I, or human to cat, human to cat, uh, you know. So what the hell? So anyway, so how, so is it cold up there? Today's not bad. Yeah, we. It's been raining. But did you get any of that storm? Oh yeah. Oh really? How many how many feet did they say? We got no. We didn't get snow. We got rain. Really? You don't get snow up there? No, we do normally. But wow. global warming has made it possible for us to get rain. Oh, I see. Okay, because we got we got cold. We we were down to nine degrees. Is that right? And needless Did to say, any snow? Uh, uh, no, no. There was a little little slight. You know, I mean, it's that cold. If there's a uh, what would normally be a drizzle, uh, then you'll get some snow. But it, nothing that stuck on the ground. Right. Yeah. You know. But it was hellaciously cold here, like nine degrees for like four days straight. Oh God. And our landlord wasn't sending up any heat. Isn't that against the law? Yes, we reported him. I mean, you oh, can Yeah, I mean, they had, they their boiler went bad on them or something. They decided to fix their boiler for two days. So for at least the daytime hours, we didn't have any heat. And it was pretty much not much heat at night either. And we're sitting, we're, I'm, I slept literally in this, you know. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And and, uh, and, and Marjorie was freezing too. I mean, it was just, it was hellacious. Right. Uh, but we got past it because it got warmer again, you know. It's supposedly, if you, they have to keep the internal temperature of an apartment or of apartments or the apartment building at 62 degrees. Oh, really? Yeah, that's that's the law. Uh, and so they here's what they have in my, our apartment. The landlords who are in Brooklyn control the heat from Brooklyn. Well, you know, I mean, it's all the stuff where you can control anything from anywhere if you want to. Right, right, right. And they have this thing where there's some like, I don't know, temperature gauges or something in the building and if it doesn't go under 62, they don't turn on the heat. Well, I want to know what happens when it's 40 and we still don't have any heat. Right, you know, right. Do they, you know, they, and they have to do the turning on and off from Brooklyn. I can't say to my super, hey, it's not warm enough up here and he'd go down to the boiler and turn it on. Right. He has no control over it. Can you call them? No. Why not, they don't have a phone? Try try and get a hold of anybody today for anything. You know, I I had Verizon, FiOS. Uh, try we very hard to find a number to call them on. You you can do a little chat with somebody, and that's insane because that goes on forever. Right. You right. Know? And they never answer your questions. And they never answer your question or get it done. I mean, I finally I had a problem with Verizon. And I called them, I think it was Verizon, and I got a, I actually got a human being, maybe it was some other thing, where I, where I could have gone to the chat, and I got a human being, a, a woman, who happened to be down in, uh, I think, somewhere like Georgia or something like that, who solved my problem for me like that, a human being. But right. if you go to that chat, you get somebody who goes, oh, they just go to their little book. Here, try this, try that, you know. Or it's an automated system. No, there, there's somebody there. There is, right? there is somebody there. Um, but uh, I, I prefer to talk to a human being. But try yeah, me too. with any of these companies, uh, your electric bill. Let's say you want to talk to the power company. Try try and call them. Try and get a number to call them on. No, though you can go to the, their site and I'll have a chat thing you can do. Right. But they won't have a phone number you can call. They don't want to talk to you. That's like Facebook. Facebook, they don't want to oh, talk to you. Oh, Facebook, you can't find anybody. Right. Never, ever, ever, ever can you find no. anybody. But, you know, in that case, you're not paying for it, so they can do anything they want to do. 
But when you're paying that? 300 bucks like we are to the electric company, I'd like to be able to have a phone number where I can talk to a human being who is concerned about what's wrong with my problem. Right, my right, exactly. You know? Exactly. And, and uh, it, 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 all this, uh, this is the bad part about computers. The fact that they don't have to talk to you, that they can have other ways of dealing with the problem. Now, I have to admit with Verizon, I had a problem once, and they said, the, the automated response was, let me go check and see what we can do about it. And it uh, did a couple of things and corrected my problem. Oh, really? Yes, yes. But that was amazing to me. Right, that's not the norm. Because you shouldn't be able by remote control a sudden, but I think they just knew what to turn off, what to turn on, what to check was working and turn it back on again. You know, so no, everything you have is Verizon. No, uh, my uh, my internet is Verizon. Actually, it was okay. it used to be my cable system, but I cut the cord, and I went to Hulu Plus, which okay. which is costing me about ninety two bucks a month. But I used to have, at its height, my Verizon bill for cable and everything was like. Uh, Two hundred and seventy-six dollars. Is that right? So now it's down to about two hundred dollars with me. No, two one ninety-five actually, uh, with me doing the uh, cord cutting and going to Hulu Plus. But I also right. in that in that in that ninety-two bucks a month that I pay for them, for it, I'm paying extra nine bucks a month to have more than two sets at a time on to it. Okay. What and do you mean? Well, if I have, let's say I have five sets in my apartment, which is, I think, what we have, okay? And let's say Marjorie turns on two of them, that's fine. If she goes and turns on a third, she can't get it, okay? Really? Yeah, so you have to pay the extra nine bucks a month, which I get because I know that she's gonna, like, go batshit crazy if she can't get it on three or four sets that she can leave on all the time. Right. Right, so that's right. costing me nine bucks a month, but it would have saved me even considerably more money. Uh, and and I also get the Disney bundle, which is Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus. Right. All included in that. So you have to take $20 off of that price. And really, uh, in, in reality, I'm only paying, you know, but I'm paying about $175 a month. So what, is it, what does the Disney bundle cost you? Well, the Disney bundle is part of the Hulu thing. You subscribe to Hulu and they give you the Disney bundle. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, if you think about it, uh, you know, we're saving money. We're not, not, not a great deal, but we're, we cut about 100 bucks off our bill. That's a lot, that adds up. That's 1,200 bucks a year. Yeah, that adds up. You know, uh, and we could probably have gone cheaper if we weren't didn't want everything, you know. Right. So. Do you have Netflix? Yeah, I have Netflix. I think it's useless personally, but you know, it's got right? it's gotten a little better in the last couple of months. There've been a couple of things that were really good, you know. Like what? Um, well, I saw one movie that I liked, and I'm trying to remember what the name of it was. Uh, Emily is a criminal, I think it's called. Uh, Emily, it. Emily the criminal. Yeah, very good, very good film. Amazing. Oh, really? Movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, and let me see here. I'm trying to think what else we watched that we really liked on there. There were a couple of things I can't remember now. Uh, and uh, and I watched Wednesday, you know, which I thought was pretty oh, really? good. Oh, was it good? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I can't get Marjorie to watch it. She's like really stubborn about these things. Oh, it's about the Adams family. I don't want to watch that. Well, suppose somebody does a completely different twist on right. the Adams family, and that's what this is. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. What's the premise? Well, the premise is remember Wednesday Adams, sure. the kid. Sure. Well, it's all about her going away to a school. And all the adventures there, and you know the mystery that's going on, and so on. But it's played by a great actress. I can't remember her name now. Who's very lovable and likable, and it's just fun. You know, it's just fun. It's directed by Tim Burton. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's pretty good all the way around. 
you know. Didn't it get canceled? No, no. I thought it got canceled with the second season. They're not doing the second season. No, not at all. No, they 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 haven't even announced the second season yet. But they're going to give it a second season because, like last week, it got over five billion minutes of watching. That's a lot of watching. That's a lot of watching. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, they're gonna they're gonna have them go with another one. That's for damn sure. Right. But you know who's in trouble? Who's really a pain in the ass? You, you have HBO Max. No. Well, I like HBO Max. I mean, they great. They had Game of Thrones and you know things like that. And um, they got bought up by Discovery. And AT and T sold it to Discovery because they had owned HBO at that time. And um, Discovery has decided they got to cut the bottom line. They got to cut uh, three billion dollars out of their overhead. And so what are they doing? They're canceling things like Westworld on HBO, a bunch of shows on HBO that are popular. Right. And I yesterday I read they're taking, uh, they're uh, eliminating uh, 256 Warner Brothers cartoons out of the, what? out of like the 500 they already have on there. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't want to have to pay the royalties on them. Oh, okay. So all the ones they've left there are prior to like 1950s, I guess. So because, it's public domain. Well, it's not public domain, but I'm sure the royalty thing is just my, very minor. Right. When, when you finally get to the ones that came out in the 60s and 70s, uh, you're dealing with the Mel Blanc estate, you know, and things like that. Right. But what the hell? You know, I mean, that's what makes HBO Max, HBO Max. It's part of the Warner Brothers family. And uh, a lot of the films that they would have shown in 4K, they're showing in HD because they don't have to pay the uh, bandwidth fees. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I mean, they're they're gutting, literally, and they're going to change it from HBO Max to Max. You know, so, I mean, it sucks. It absolutely sucks. And a lot of these companies have been bought up by other people who are trying to, you know, cut the the cost. And so they're right, going to the they, they, start doing that sort of stuff, you know? The whole bottom line thing. Yeah, well, uh, you know, the one thing I have to hand to Netflix, and I, I cut them down. I cut them down. I had a 4K service from them. I'm saving five bucks a month by... Uh, by only having the regular service, you know, the HD service. What does what what Netflix cost you a month? With just the HD, 15 bucks, I think, something like that. Is that right? Yeah, where it was costing me 20 bucks for the, with with a, a, H, with 4K. But right. a lot of these other organizations aren't charging you for the 4K. They just give it to you. I mean, there's still some movies on HBO Max that are in 4K, but, um, Watched a movie yesterday, The Menu. Uh, oh, really? Is that any good? I I liked it. Marjorie didn't. Well, isn't that a horror movie? Yes, it, it is, but it isn't. You know, you know are what I'm they saying. Are the guests? Uh, aren't the guests the menu? No, the guests aren't the menu. No, that's not it. Oh, I thought they were. But they 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 want to kill the guests, and then it it builds up to where the guests are imperiled. Let's put it that way. You know, okay. and uh, Ray Fine stars in it, and Anya Taylor uh, Joy, uh, who was in the Gambit. Okay. And and uh, it's a, it, I think uh, I enjoyed it. Marjorie didn't like it. You didn't know, like it at all. Didn't, didn't like it at all. Yeah, you know, her taste. I'll tell you. Trouble with being married and getting older when you're married is your tastes start diverging. Like. Where before I could say, okay, Wednesday's kind of a good show. You should see it. She'd go, okay, I'll give it a try. Right. Today is not my kind of thing. I don't want to watch it. No, I'm absolutely not going to watch. I mean, it's almost like she's entrenched, like the Republicans against Murphy. You know, yeah, no, <laughs> just just entrenched. <laughs> so I can't get her to watch anything that, you know, I think she might like. 
So, you know, and, and then she goes and watches these dopey movies on Netflix, you know, these things that really belong on the Hallmark channel. Oh, is that right? Yeah, but they, they're they Netflix originals, so, you know, they got to be better than anything else. And you're going, eh, it sucks, you know. But I, I uh, uh, you know, I really enjoyed Wednesday. I thought it was uh, a lot of fun, you know. What did I watch on Netflix? Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth? What is that? Um, there's a plague that kind of wipes out most of the human beings. Mm-hmm. And... They start having these hybrid uh, kids. You know, they're part uh, deer, part part human, part pig, part human. It was really stupid. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that that's most of Netflix stuff. I mean, you know, Netflix originals. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This uh, one was really silly. Yeah. Well, I should might mention it to Marjorie and let her start watching it. You know, because it's on Netflix. Oh, she'd like it. She'd like it. Oh, really? Is it a horror? Probably. It sounds like a horror picture. No, it's not. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, I never heard of it, but, you know. But anyway, so, you know, and then let's see, what else do I have? I have Paramount Plus. I'll tell you something. On Paramount Plus, I'm watching 1923, the show with Helen Mirren and Harrison Ford. Oh, is that anything good? Which is part of the Yellowstone history of the Dutton okay. family. And 1923, I mean, 1883 was terrific. It was really terrific. And this is even better. I mean, it just has heart, and it's 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 an amazing, it's really an amazingly good show. Mm. Uh, and so uh, I suggest everybody watch it. So, you know. Uh, that and I am enjoying and Marjorie isn't as much because she's resistant to the Sylvester Stallone series Tulsa King. Oh, is that any good? Yes, I like he's it. A, he's a gangster, right? You know, it's you may not believe this. It's the only time he ever played a gangster. Is that right? He never played a gangster. And, mm-hmm. and so it's the first time he played a gangster. Yeah, it's a gangster who went to prison for 25 years rather than rat on his, on the mob, okay? And he, okay. And he gets out, and the, the mob gives him something. They say, okay, we're sending you to Tulsa. Take it over, you know? So they send him to Tulsa. He's It's like he's banished to Tulsa. But he's first he goes to a marijuana dispensary and takes that over, and then he's going to something else and taking that over. And then certain people are getting mad at him. Now he's got the mob wanting to kill him and some bikers wanting to kill him. So it's really, it's a fun, it's, I enjoy the show. It's a family, it's family entertainment. Yeah, and you know, Marjorie went, oh, Stallone can't act. Well, I think I've seen Stallone act in a picture called uh, Cop, t- uh, I think a few years back. He was terrific, just terrific. Uh, and... Uh, I just think he has more talent than people give him credit for. I mean, people forget he wrote Rocky. Right, right. You know, that right. was his script, and the only reason he starred in it is they didn't want him to star in it, and he said, then you don't get the script. Right. You want the right. script, you take me. It's a package deal. And that's what made his career. And, yeah, no kidding. And he's written several other movies, too. But not as How good many as Rockies Rocky. did they do? How many Rockies did they do? Well, five? They did, uh, they did about five Rockies, and then they did a one j- of just um, Sylvester's, uh, uh, what, Rocky Balboa's. I think it was called Balboa or something. And there were a couple of more of those. And now they're doing a series called Creed, which is based on Apollo Creed, the boxer, uh, the, well, actually the son of the boxer who fought, right. fought uh, Stallone. So, I mean, that... that uh, that they keep going, they keep going, they keep going, and they keep going. You know, they're amazing. Did he write Rambo? Yes, I think. You know, I mean, he he's a, he's a talented guy. People never yeah, no kidding. They never gave him that kind of credit because of the kind of dopey movies he did. Right. You know, but come on, you're a working actor. You take any job that comes along. Isn't that the truth? You know, Helen Mirren will show up in anything, but she's right. a really good actress, and everybody right. admits that. But they don't hold that against her, but they hold it against some people who go, 
hey, I want a payday today. They offered me $10 million to do this dumb movie. I'll do it, you know. Absolutely. And, and nobody should blame you for doing it. No. Know? So I find that amazing. I have to use my glasses now. I can't see the screen. You know, we've run out of time here. Is that right? Yeah, just chatting, having a good chat, as it were. As it were. As it were. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our old friend, Stephen Kravitz. Wave goodbye, Stephen. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Well, a happy Thursday to everybody. Glad you could join us on our thing called the uh, Ramble. Uh, it's called that because I don't know why it's called just called that. Anyway, how are you all? Having a good evening? That's fine. That's well and good. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Well, I got nothing to talk about uh, until I start talking to these people. And the two people I have waiting on the line are two of the smartest people that call this program. Okay? Uh, and, and it's, it's uh, Josh Wheeler, who we are, have the pleasure of this week most days simply because uh, he's, he quit his job <laughs> and he's going to work somewhere else. And when? A couple of weeks? Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe nine, ten more days, whatever it is. Nine, ten more days? Okay. Just like that. Okay. Do you sign contracts for your jobs at all? No. No. Okay. But, uh, you know, and, but there, you know, what, what I was always afraid of is when people would come along and offer me a job is that I had to make sure I had all the papers signed and everything. Because in my business, they could hire me and I'd quit my other job and then I'd go to them and they go, ah, sorry, no, yeah. no way, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, you get, you don't really, uh, I mean, you get an offer letter that tells you what you're gonna get, what you're entitled to. And, okay. Well, that, I mean, that, you sign it and everything, but it's not, you know, it's not a contract in terms of, I can't change my mind or they can't change their mind, you know, really at any time. Yeah. Yeah. Much, you know. Yeah. Well, in my business, it's, it's a cutthroat business. Once yeah. I didn't take a job with a guy I should have taken a job with simply because I had to quit my one job before he would offer me a job because he said he didn't yeah. want to be in the position of having stolen a, uh, a talent away from another company. Yeah. And so yeah. I had to quit my job before he would hire me, and I didn't trust that. So I yeah, gave it, I, I gave it up, and, and I gave it up, and he turned out later on when I went to Sirius XM to be the best boss I ever had, you yeah, know, and the most guess, honorable yeah. person. Right, Charlie, got your hand up. Yeah, uh, on YouTube, oh. you're you're the only one there. We don't have everybody. Of course, else you know why? Because I'm a stupid asshole. Is what it all <laughs> is. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Yeah, I mean that's you know you, you you get a thing that tells you what you'll get and all that kind of stuff, but I mean all they really care about is specifically because I was going to a competitor was if I had some kind of a non competition agreement. Do you know that the uh, the what do you call which it? Which I don't. Uh, uh, what the what's the department in charge of uh, things like workplace stuff? Not OSHA. That's that's health. But uh, yeah. whoever it was, a government agency today. Just passed a law. You can't have people in bu any businesses fill out non-compete clauses. They've been made. No, no, I didn't hear anything about that. I mean, they problem. have yeah, like the either. Equal Opportunity Employment Commission, and then. Well, this was. The, I can't remember which one this was. Uh, but National Labor Relations Board, like the NLRB. Might have been something like that. Yeah, but they uh, they they put out a thing that said no no non-competition clauses now. Is that only for federal contractors then, or no? No, this goes for all work, any job. In other words, they couldn't make you sign a non-competition clause at your new I'm job. Not sure how they have the right to do yeah, that. Yeah, me either. Wow. The private. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe that was like. Fine. Well, I know. I agree. I agree that that. I have that, to read up on that. I don't know. No, I mean, come on. You know, I am a a, a free a free agent of sorts. I mean, right. while you have a contract with me, of course I can't go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But if and if I choose to leave and you want me not to compete with you, you have to keep paying me. Yeah. Let's say you fire me or something. You, you have to keep paying me. So, uh, you know, uh, it, it's um, 
it's it's a whole weird thing, but I never like non-competition clauses, and I never signed them, you know, for that reason. Who yeah. is, let's see, is this Rob Rob? Let me see here. Is this Rob Alfano? Could it be? Could it be? Let's see, wait until the picture shows up. Otherwise, if it's somebody showing me a bunch of nude people, that what do you know? Rob. From the Philippines yet. There's there's Rob, and it's daytime there too, right, Rob? Yeah. Wait a minute, your mic isn't on. What? Yeah, one minute, he'll figure it out. Uh, right now, there it is. There yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. What a pleasure. How's it going? What a pleasure. And you can talk to us, and you need not worry about any companies being mad at you if you said something wrong. You know, and <laughs> it's all over. Yeah, the reason he didn't see stop calling was because he had some pretty good jobs, okay? It paid mm -hmm. a lot of money. Move away from that window because okay. it, the line, see the sun is coming through? Yeah. There, well, <laughs> we got two windows. Yeah, Damn I'm it. surrounded by windows It's here. too that's sunny cool. in the Philippines, for crying out loud. There you go. There you go. That's much better. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Cool. Gee, so you, you must have some pretty good Wi-Fi there, right? Yeah, yeah. Got, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, sort of like Verizon Fios, you know, digital. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Fiber. Uh, fiber. 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 Yeah. Fiber. Fiber. yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, we're all... Three weeks now. What? Big three. We've been here a big three weeks now. Oh, wow. And the reason I haven't called before mm -hmm. is because I still haven't adjusted to the fact that it's 1130 in the morning that your program starts here. <laughs> Are you going to get into that fashion where you wear a white shirt and then you wear undershirt under it that everybody can see through to your <laughs> undershirt? Are you going to... You know, you know what nah, I'm... Just, every day it's a t-shirt and shorts. Okay. They, so they figure you're a tourist. You know, they I mean, look at my face. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny. I go into the malls here and people stop me. They think I'm this actor. I look just like this Filipino actor. Oh, really? I was following me around the mall and he's smiling at me and he, he didn't speak English very well. And he went over to my wife and because he saw with me with him and he was like, is that? And I don't know the guy's name, but when they when my wife Googled a photo of him, looks like me. Really? <laughs> well, maybe you can get some work doubling for him or something over there. <laughs> Hello to, uh, by the way, we haven't seen this guy in a while either, John Larkin. Hello, John. Hi, how are you? How are you doing in flooded San Francisco? Yeah. Uh, very wet, yeah. Wow. Trees are falling down and it's, it's flooding. It, it, yeah. So is it the end of the world as we know it? Yeah, pretty much. You know, it's crazy. Wait, I'm going to be there tomorrow night for dinner. South of Market, <laughs> how's it doing? Well, they, it, what you, you know those those restaurants you used to go to for sushi, where they used to have the boats going around with the with the yeah. food, and then you would pick the food out as the boat came by. Yeah. Well, that's how how your dinner is going to be tomorrow night, only in the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so happens I'm going to a sushi bar. <laughs> That's the way it is in Capitola. Did you ever go to one of those sushi bars I'm talking about where there was a boats? <laughs> sushi boats. Yeah, it's, they, I've never been to one. Well, I things. thought it was a really stupid idea <clears throat> when I heard of it, and they said you want to go to places where they have sushi boats, and I went okay, and I went and I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> you know, I've never been. Yeah, all those restaurants down on the beach in Capitola got wiped out. Oh yeah, really. Oh, got fish wow. right on the right in the right on the bar. <laughs> yeah, but she's almighty. Well, yeah, the the railroad railroad tracks and everything. Now here we have here we have Rob. He's in the Philippines right now. What's the hey, Rob. What's the temperature right now? Uh, I would say probably about eighty-two or eighty-three. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And this is this is winter there, isn't it? This is our winter, yeah. So the weather, it's, the weather's been magnificent. Yesterday, uh, today and yesterday we had rain the first time since I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, the weather's just been really, really nice. And uh, I, I left New York just in time. We were there for four months after we sold our house mm -hmm. um, in Virginia. Mm -hmm. It was in my brother, staying with my brother in his uh, basement. 
That was on Long Island, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we left on December 11th, and like right after that, it got cold there. So we just missed all that. Yeah. And so now, how do you now? How do you like the Philippines so far? I like everything, uh, with the exception of driving here. You haven't you lived haven't. until you've driven here in the Philippines. Somebody said that last night, didn't they? Yeah, Bree. Bree was talking, yeah, about, Bree. Bree was Bree talking was about talking about that because I mentioned that you had moved to the Philippines and I had written you and you had I written back driving. and I wanted to tell people how you were. And then he said, he's in the Philippines, tell him not to drive. Right. I have a, I just bought a car. The first day I got it on the road, I dented it because I ran over a motorcycle guy. Oh, not joking. I, I, so we, you, these people are crazy here. They, they, uh, there's no traffic rules. Think of New York City, Manhattan, without a traffic light, without one way streets, anything goes anytime. So what happened was I was turning into my, where I live off the street. There was a little scooter in my blind spot. I turned, I heard thump, and I knocked him over. So what was, do you do? You just say I, fuck it and go? Yeah, no, really. No, I pulled over. I got out of the car. My wife and I got out of the car. Two, he was a he's a delivery guy. He uh, delivers like Uber, delivers food, Grubhub or one of those, right? Yeah. And it was it was late at night. It was about almost midnight. And um, we picked up the bike. We picked him up, and uh. I apologized. And the guy was like, yeah, don't worry about it. No big deal. I'm like, what? what? Yeah, here, here they would have been, you went exchanging numbers and lawyers. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And I said to him, you know, he was right. I mean, there weren't that many people on the road. He was in my blind spot. I did not see him when I turned into the development here, making a right turn right in. Mm -hmm. And he said, I, I took my hand and I held it out and I, you know, against the car when I saw it and he goes on, I went down in slow motion and there were two women who also were witnesses who were also on scooters, who, who were also delivery people. And but because, because everybody, everybody, it sounds like, laughing. yeah, it sounds like everybody in the Philippines is a delivery person. Well, it, there's a, believe me, there's a lot of that. Um, but everybody was laughing and ha ha ha. And I, I was like dumb. I was like, I said to my wife, I'm never going to drive again and all this, right? But you get used to it. I do not like driving here. So today you backed out of your driveway and ran the guy over completely. <laughs> yeah, it's like Grand Theft Auto, you know? Yeah. Um, well, you won the game. The very right. <laughs> the very first day, I was driving on a highway. Highway. This wasn't really a highway, but it was a clear road ahead of me. It was a guy in a scooter in front of me, mm -hmm. no wearing, no helmet, nothing. Right? He's got a baseball cap on, like your yes. cap, Alex. Right. And I'm driving along. I must have been doing about 35, 40 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. His, I see his cap fly off, and he just hits the brakes to get his cap. Doesn't pull over. No. <laughs> I almost creamed him. What does it I'm take? Wait a minute. Now, did you did you get yourself a driver's license there yet? No, no. I'm still using my my U.S. driver's license. Yeah. I can't get a driver's license until I get some sort of okay. card that I need. Uh, I got to start the process to get a visa. And I, all I that. can hardly wait till you go to get your license to find out what you have to do because I imagine Nothing. I imagine yeah. the questionnaire is one question. Do you have a car? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean. It sounds there's no like test. It, what? there's no test. There's no test. But there's no there, test. No wonder no, it's like no that. Test. No, no, no. There's a test if you are a new driver. There's no test for someone who's been driving for fifty odd years. Oh wow! Just, you just show up. It's like when I DMV. moved to Virginia. When I moved to Virginia, I surrendered my New York license, got a Virginia license. Wow! Don't you just don't you just show up there to get your license with some pork adobo and? Some pork adobo and you're right. in, you know, every, I mean, everybody here is on the take. So it's not like oh, if yeah. you're oh, over yeah. by the police, you offer them, you know, a thousand pesos, which is about 20 bucks. That bad. Yeah, it's it. 20, oh, yeah. 20 years ago, I had a girlfriend from the Philippines. That's all she knew how to cook. Pork adobo every night, you know. What is pork adobo? Adobo is uh, a big... Uh, style of cooking here, and you could do chicken adobo or pork adobo 
uh, yeah. or beef adobo. Uh, pork and chicken are probably the most. Well, what popular. is the adobo part? Okay, we know we have the pork. Okay, Some we spices. have the chicken, but what's the adobo? It's a sauce. Um, it's it's a like it's a stew. A, it's, a, it's, like it's like a, a stew. What? Like a stew, like a maybe. Stew. Yeah, that's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah. So my, you've had my, it. Uh, you've had it several times since you got there. Adobo, Senegal, um, uh, Ponset. Uh, all kinds of. Uh, that's what I've been eating here. Is all all Filipino food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ponset, right? Ponset, the noodles. Ponset, yeah. Yeah. Well, I know you weren't. You weren't really happy here in the United States. You weren't happy with. Mm-hmm. The, you weren't happy with the politics. I wasn't happy with the politics. Not why I moved, though. Why well, you I should be here now. now. This is a wonderful time to be here. <laughs> there is a there is a show going on in Washington right now, which you couldn't have written. You know, you couldn't have thought up. This is the best science fiction or whatever. I don't know. It's just the McCarthy thing. Oh yeah, yeah, the McCarthy. Well, I, yeah, another another Trump backed person. Yeah, yeah. Trump and, hasn't done so and, well. This and year. he's sitting there. Uh, and they vote for him, and uh, 20 people don't vote for him, so he can't get it. Heard about that. All right. So now they I, ho- he I decides. Still my, I still have all okay. my American TV here. Yeah. He says so I, I yeah. watch every. So he decided, okay, to uh, go for the second uh, vote, right? A second round of voting, and once again he gets 20 votes against him. Now he needs. He's uh, he's something like uh, what eighteen shy of of of, uh, of of winning it of getting the House Speaker, so then he tries a third time and now he's twenty one down. <laughs> now let me ask you a question, Rob. I, I want to ask these guys because they know the answer. If you were a guy like Kevin McCarthy, and three times people had said no, we don't want you as our Speaker. And it's really got to be your own Republicans who are voting for you, and it, this is this is not looking good for the party that you know that he can't get his people together. What would you do? When would you stop? You know, you, you, such a strange no, thing. No, I'm talking about you. When would Me? you stop? I, I would stop after the third strike. Three strikes, you're out. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. you, you, and now he's he went from twenty to twenty one. Yeah, right. on the 11th vote. Yeah. We're, no, wait a minute. Support. Now we're on the 11th vote. Yeah. What? 11 <laughs> votes. This is yesterday he beat the uh, 11 beat, is done. Now they're going on to 12. He yeah. beat they, they, they just going to keep voting. They say, voting. They say this is, the fir- this is the first time in 100 years this has happened. Okay? But wait a minute. Now with this current 11 things it hasn't happened in the last 180 years. It's amazing. Isn't that the, uh, isn't that, isn't that the uh, definition of insanity? Yeah. Oh, three times over. <laughs> you know. Well, he does have 200 that did vote for him, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he's probably saying to himself. Hey, yeah. 200. Here's what I think was what's really stupid is the Republicans should just say, okay, let's start voting for other people. Let's just... Well, who else is there? Who else is running? Who wants it? Uh, um, who's who's the guy? Well, there's one guy. Um, Donald. Mc, uh, Don, I always say no, McDonald. No, 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 they keep putting him up Scalise, there. But he, Scalise, they keep bringing up Scalise. Scalise yeah. is probably the, the closest guy to maybe that everybody would agree on. Yeah. They fucking nominated Trump today. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, that's he got one vote. <laughs> That's Gates. He's a nut. Yeah. Did he get one vote? I, th- I saw he got three votes, I think. Oh, maybe it was yeah, three. I saw he got three. Yeah. But what it's doing is it's setting, sending the wrong message to the rest of the country. I mean, they're just going, these Republicans are a bunch of losers. They can't get it together just to even agree on somebody to be their leader. A hundred okay. years ago when this happened, it was the Republicans that did it. Yeah. With who? Do you know? Do you know who? Huh? I, I don't know you the know, name. You know yeah. who? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably Al Capone. It happened in the 20s, 23, huh? I think. It was, 19, it was 1923, yes. Yeah. So now, a couple know. of things that happened here, and correct me if I'm wrong, Josh, is that anybody, 
can be put up for Speaker of the House. Allen here could be put up for Speaker of the House. That's a frightening proposition, but, oh, you know. Sure. You mean you don't have to be an elected official? No, you don't. Well, no, mm -hmm. you don't have to be a member of Congress. Wow. Yeah. That's why Gates was able to bring up Donald Trump. Yes, exactly. There's a very good example. Yeah, yeah. It uh, would be shameful if he got more votes than McCarthy. Well, that's not going to happen, but... <laughs> You know, I mean, at this point, McCarthy should just say, all right, look, for the good of the party, you know, and so we can all get along. And so our party can have unity. I'm going to step down and not go for the nominee. But he won't. And are we up to 11 now? Is that the, where we left 12. off? 12. Yeah, they're yeah, starting at 12. They're going to go into 12 tomorrow. Oh, 12 is tomorrow. There, is there a, uh, an upper limit that is reached in, you know, at some point? Oh, thousands, maybe. Well, this can go yeah, on for the four years. And, and, years. And, and, and the horrible part about it is all these people who won their congressional districts, right, who have got to be sworn it. in as, uh, as, as, uh, uh, as congressmen, uh, they can't swear in until they get a Speaker of the House. Yep. So they're all sitting there. They, they're bringing their kids with them every day because they want their kids to see them get sworn in. And Pelosi, it, it, Pelosi won on the Democrat side six or eight times, and every time on the first vote. Yeah, yeah. 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 Usually, yeah. usually the people they put up are, are the people they want. You know, right. how do Republicans? Uh, how do Republicans defend this? And I mean, Republican supporters, not the politicians. I, like how would you know? I, uh, it's them. funny. I haven't been looking. I haven't been watching Fox to see to get that. You know. Whatever they're how they're spinning this thing, you know. Well, they, they keep saying that they're close to a deal. They're close to a deal. They're closer to a deal. They said they time. said that before the eleventh vote, and the vote was exactly yeah. the same. Yep. So I don't yes, know who's doing. Didn't convince anybody. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, uh, who's who's they doing keep... the negotiating for them? Harvey Weinstein. I mean, come on. <laughs> and what are they kidding? negotiating? Mm -hmm. They could fuck up and have a Democrat get in there. Well, they, what they uh, may have to do, from what I see, is they may have to go over to the Democrats and say, yeah. if you'll vote for our, somebody for our side so we get going here, we'll make these concessions to the Democrats. Or they could, go to the, they could go yeah. to the Democrats and agree on a really middle-of-the-road speaker. Yeah. How about yeah. mention? Huh? Virginia. How about Manchin from West oh, Virginia? Manchin. Yeah, he's right. the senator. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, he's the senator. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. he could be speaker. I guess yeah. he could do both jobs. Yeah. There were a bunch of uh, congressmen who were would be uh, Mansions. Yeah. Uh, would they be Green Mansions? <laughs> <laughs> Bad they should do Liz Cheney. <laughs> yeah. Well, how are you looking at this whole thing, Josh? You're our our our, our politic wonk. Well, I mean, they they keep doing what they're doing until they decide. But eventually, they're going to have to accept, you know, some sort of they're going to have to accept some sort of coalition leader, which to them is going to mean that they're weakened and they're not going to have as much power as they want. But they should have accepted that anyway because the majority that they were given was minute, mm -hmm. so their power was already weak. That's what the people said they wanted was weak power. If they wanted them to have everything they wanted any time, all the time, they would have given them a 70-vote majority. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah. They gave them the smallest one that you could literally I can't remember. So, I can't remember today who suggested a good possible Speaker of the House would be the QAnon shaman. <laughs> I mean, you know, the I heard some people say that they wouldn't, but, you know, at some point, you know, the Democrats could possibly approach them and say that we would agree to support somebody or even McCarthy, if you agree to pursue your legislative agenda, which is fine. Yeah. But you have to, you know, but there is going to be no special committee to investigate the weaponization of the FBI. There's not going to be an impeachment of the, the Department of Homeland Security secretary. Yeah. There's not going to be a special prosecutor for Hunter Biden, you know what I'm we're saying? Not buy, we're, not buy, we're not going to buy. We're not going to buy. We're not going to buy Hunter Biden a new laptop. Yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, you know, that's a perfectly legitimate ask. Yeah. You know, we're not asking you not to introduce legislation. You may introduce whatever legislation 
you want because that's part of the democratic process. What we're asking you to do is not pursue things that are not part of the democratic process. And a special select committee to investigate the FBI weaponization, uh, whatever that even means. Whatever that that's means. Not part well, of the well, wait a minute. Is, uh, I may be wrong, but doesn't the FBI carry weapons? Yeah. 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 I know that you were using I mean, that term weaponization. You know, I mean, if they would agree to knock off that sort of, you know, that extreme ridiculous red, stuff red. that is just out there to, you know, raise money and do, yeah. you know, other stupidity, uh, uh, well, you know, then they well, could maybe get some Democratic support. But if they're not going to agree to do that, then Democrats shouldn't agree to vote for someone they don't believe is qualified to be the speaker. Why should they? Those you know? corny Republicans that got elected, they're, they're not even serious. I mean, like one guy, his only qualification was he was on Shark Tank and he got a tattoo on his fucking uh bicep that says we the people and he and he and he made uh he made beer beer bottle openers out of bullets that's his only that's what he that's his claim to fame and he got elected to congress uh, really i saw that guy on shark tank yeah 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 now he's a, now he's a fucking congressman from uh yeah. arizona i mean you know these guys the, aren't serious they're they're just out for fame that's right you know, lucky you exactly are, rob. Rob. what were you saying rob no, I, I was agreeing. He, they're, they're out for fame. It's become a, a, a it's become a way like like uh, like reality TV. It's yeah. It's, it's, it's serious. And how come yeah, Matt Gates is how how come Matt Gates is still a congressman after all that stuff with teenage girls? Yeah. I know. You know. Yeah. And and it, why doesn't the government bust these people? Are they afraid to because they're going to say, oh, it's all just politics? They're trying to get me because right. I'm yeah. you know. I'm a, I'm a right winger. I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Trump should be already in jail by now. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, or at least you know, lawyering yeah. up. Yeah, you know. I mean, I mean the people's representatives within their individual districts. You know, that's who was elected, mm -hmm. and so those people have the right to elect. Who How about these morons out in Long Island here who voted for that guy uh, Santos? Yeah. 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 Right. I mean, you know, no matter how poor their choices are, that's what they made, and yeah. and they're within their no right to do that. Well, do you really, do you really think the now Americans... that those people are, now that those people are in 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 Washington D.C. setting in a uh in a in a in a session of the U.S. House of Representatives to choose a leader, you know, mm -hmm. they have to not just look at their district, you know. I mean, they have to look at the nation as a whole because they are an elected member of a body that represents the nation yeah. as a whole. And their job is to yeah. work on legislation for, you know, the national interest, not mm -hmm. purely just their their district. You know, parochial interest is what tore this country apart and what made it stumble and, and fall, you know, in the early days. And setting those aside is the only thing that's ever... Allowed yeah, it to but, move but let me ask yeah. you this though. You know, and I know this sounds like a horrible thing I'm about to say, and it is a horrible thing I'm about to say, but the American public deserves it. Do you think maybe they don't deserve the right to vote? I mean, yeah. come on. Given the chance of a guy who's lied about everything on his resume and somebody who I think was in Congress before, they picked the guy who lied his, through his, you know. Is, well, that's, but, they didn't that find choice. out that he lied mm -hmm. until after the election was over. But nobody did any any. Where was the oppo, uh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, yeah. work being I mean, done that, on? Look, him. that was their choice, and if if the people had enough, you know, uh, demand, then they could ver they could go through various processes for recalls and things like that, depending on their state, or you know, yeah. the party as a whole. Could choose to I mean, expel him. He uh, he was Jewish and have, yeah, he, and have a replacement, but he, he, they have to put national yeah. pressure on the party to he do that. He was the perfect candidate. He was uh, 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 gay. Uh, he was Jewish. Uh, his mother was in the buildings at ni during nine eleven. Okay, and and uh, he went on and on. He had made him. He made billion uh, a couple of million dollars. He he's, was he's yeah. Latino too. He was Latino yeah. as well as being Jewish. Yeah. He was a Jewish yeah. Latino. 
Well, it, when they did it, a little research, they found out none of these things were true. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Only well, in America. Americans shouldn't be allowed to vote, okay? Well, or run for political office. Well, he should be he should be ousted because he's a liar. Yeah. He ran on a well, play. If you apply for a job and you say you have a degree at Harvard University and they accept you and they do some research and find out that you were lying on your resume, that is grounds to be ousted from the company. No questions asked. Why is not that not the case? Well, he, said, he said these were all embellishments and I got news yeah. for him, you know, <laughs> saying that you got an A and, and when you got nothing but B's is an embellishment. Yeah. Getting a bunch of D's and saying you got A's is not an embellishment. Yeah, I mean, but, but Rob is right. I mean, an embellishment is saying that you have a PhD when you have a master's degree right. and you took some PhD courses is an embellishment. Saying you have a PhD and you didn't graduate high school is a totally different. Yeah. It's an outright lie. You know, it's about 10 years yeah. worth of work, as a matter of fact. Yeah, so he, he shouldn't be allowed to, to take office because he lied in his yeah. application to the people. He, yeah. he hasn't been sworn in yet. Nope, he hasn't. Yeah, but he will be. He's sitting there waiting. He yeah. And by the way, he gets to vote in each of these uh, things. Yes, you know. yes. Because yeah, I mean, look, that's what I'm saying that what, what you, think our forefathers, you think our forefathers just didn't think people would blatantly lie that way, and that's why there's nothing built in that says if you if you get if you get an office, no, uh, your you know, pretenses that you are still going to stay in office. No, the the founding fathers trusted the people, but when Trump came around, he recruited all these stupid motherfuckers that started to pay attention to politics, and that's that's mm -hmm. where we're at. Yeah. yeah, there's too many stupid fucking people voting now. In the past, we didn't have those idiots. They didn't pay attention because they were too stupid. Yeah, you know. Uh, and Brazil is, as somebody just wrote here, and they're right. But Brazil yeah. is thinking of charging Santos with something, right? He's wanted down there. Yeah, yeah they're passing bad checks. They have a warrant for his arrest. They're talking about extraditing them. You left. You you left at a really bad time. The the comedy of of errors that's happening in this country. Oh, believe me, I have on my TV here. I have uh, I have Apple. I'm, I'm sorry, YouTube TV. Yeah. Oh yeah. So with a VPN, which I have here, I watch. I watch the same channels you do. The New York television channels. I watch the news. Channel four. Channel two. Everything here is just like I'm home. Oh, okay. Right. I have everything here. I could watch. I don't miss out on anything. I just have I've been busy and haven't paid really close attention. Well, there is one Philippine channel you probably should be watching, and that's the old car crash channel. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. That that's the problem with Vietnam. When I was in Vietnam last, they're starting to get too many cars. And Vietnam's built for scooters. Scooters are very good. You have Every house is the business underneath, and so you have in that small area that you can scooter, you have access to everything, all your home improvement stuff or all everything you have there. So now they're starting to get too many cars, and these cars are, yeah. They're well, I mean, uh, I was in Beijing, and Beijing it, it, during traffic, high, high traffic periods, is horrible. It's just, it's. T t I'm gonna, I took video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit it, and I'm going to send it. Okay. I'm gonna. I gotta publish it somewhere. I in traffic. I had to drive. Uh, I, I drove to Manila yesterday. Oh, I don't want to. I told my wife we're hiring a driver from now on. I am not. I am no longer driving. I'll drive to the local mall. I'll drive around here I, and on the highways. But I am not going to drive through Metro Manila ever again. Yeah. Well, in Be Beijing was bumper to bumper traffic. Okay, and a years just ten years earlier. Those were all dirt roads. I mean, that's how Beijing has changed. They were all dirt roads, and people used bicycles. Yep. And now they don't use bicycles anymore. Thank goodness they killed people here. I almost killed the guy on the scooter. Yeah, but if you did, <laughs> if, if every if everybody in Manila were on scooters, they probably wouldn't be killing each other. But because yeah. their cars mixed up with with scooters, you've got a, a lethal combination trucks, going there big trucks i was in front of a big cement mixer yesterday I mean, yeah. so there's everything yeah when, when I, they don't they, when they, I, they, they they come in they like say you're parked you're you're stopped in traffic 
mm-hmm. and you've got I don't know two feet in front of you know your your bump between your car and the car in front of you you have a foot or two feet whatever scooters go through they everybody just goes through they somebody will make a turn it, there's no such thing as getting to a corner making a u-turn no 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 if someone's coming in the opposite direction and they want to get across they'll just go between you and that car in front of you while you're stopped it is like you know how water finds a way like it rushes and it, that's exactly the way the traffic is here that's, it's like, that's the beauty of when you look at those, when you look at the videos from Vietnam, and you see those big intersections, you just drive slow, and you just get right in the flow of everything, and yes. it's, it's, there's no it's traffic crazy. lights. Yeah. yeah, isn't there a Filipino traffic school opening up on Mar-a-Lago this week? <laughs> That's a good idea. Trump, should, if Trump hears about it, yeah, open. yeah. Yeah, he tells people how to drive their scooters. There's this guy that wants to come on who I talked to him after the show last night because he was still in the waiting room. And that was the oh. guy that tried to call me last night. Did you see this thing? And uh, oh, I I saw that you were doing something, and I want to talk. And he was, he just wasn't interesting. I I said to myself, uh, I kind of didn't didn't encourage him, uh, but unfortunately, so he's back tonight. He's trying again tonight. Yeah, uh, I feel sorry for him. He seemed like he was an okay guy, but it's McCarthy looking for an extra vote. <laughs> yeah, it just wouldn't have worked out very well. Let me put it no. that way. You know, I mean, I like the combination tonight because I got some some really smart people here tonight, with the exception of Alan. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, I mean, we got. Did you know this about Rob? Did you know this about Charlie? That he has his degree. What do you think he has his degree in? You, you have a master's, right? Oh. Right, Charlie. Everybody's. I've said it many times. Yeah, but you have you have a master's, right? Yes. What What do you think he has a master's in? Uh, they I, all know. They all know. I know. I knew he had an advanced degree. I don't remember. It's some sort of uh, engineering. No, astrophysics. Yeah. He's an astrophysicist. We have a rocket scientist on our panel. We've been on the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, but I mean, it it really just, you know, I, and so uh, Charlie just, uh, I'm in awe of Charlie. Just, uh, just to be on the, on the nice side of this thing, you know, but. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, What else is happening here? That's, or what's happening in Philippines? What's the big news story in the Philippines today? I don't know. I I don't I, I don't follow Filipino news. Newcomer from New York runs over scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have met the mayor here. I was uh, at the mall, and um, you know I stand out, right? I'm white. I'm you know people look at you. You you stand out here. And so you're lucky you have dark hair. I, well, everybody has dark hair here. Right, that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, but I you know, the, be be there a while, and you'll probably get rather brown skin from the weather. Probably, you know? but I yeah. mean, the, people know I'm, I'm Anglo. I'm a, you know, I'm I'm a Caucasian, um, and so I was standing in Starbucks waiting for my coffee, and there were these four gentlemen sitting at a table, and they tapped me, and we started a conversation. It turns out, I met the mayor of the city, and mm-hmm. his captains. And they asked me to sit down and they wanted to do, I mean, I got into a whole thing. People are just ultra interested because I'm not from here, right? Mm-hmm. And so everybody wants to talk to you. And so I found out that it happened to be the week that they were voting on changing the municipality here. It's called Baliwag, mm-hmm. changing it from a um, just a town to become a city. And with that, they get more revenue coming in. And Mm -hmm. with that, the plan is they want to open up a new hospital. They want a a free dialysis clinic for people. And the guy was telling me all these things that they're planning to do. And the vote did pass. So they are going to make this. They did already make this uh, town a city so that it will get more funds from the national government. Yeah. Plans. I I got in with the mayor here already. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's it's been fun. It's been an interesting uh, ride for these past three weeks. A lot of learning to do here. Mm-hmm. Again, the only bad thing thing so far is the driving. I, I really Why used don't to you love get little drive. cameras mounted to the side of your vehicle, aiming I, backwards. 
Yeah. I, I put in a, I put in a, a, a dash cam, a rear cam. Oh yeah. Um, and because uh, you know you need that to get out of your driveway. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, it is not fun to drive. And I let my nephew drive. He's nineteen. He could drive. Let him. Yeah. I don't want any part of it. Why? Wow. When they're nineteen, they just run over the scooter and keep going. Did you guys? Did you guys hear about that Tesla that went off Devil's Slide over here? Yeah, we were talking about yeah, that last we were night. Talking about it last uh, night. Well, first, we're... first I saw that that happened, and that supposedly the people weren't really hurt. And I went, "What an yeah, ad! What an, what an ad for Tesla!" You yeah. know. And oh, then, and then somebody mentioned that they were hurt, and that there was any guy. Bit. And then no, there, they weren't killed. Well, then there was a guy who was driving, and the rest of the people were passengers. And the guy who was driving, they're charging with attempted murder or something like that because he purposely drove off the cliff. Yeah. Or was paid by Elon Musk to do it. I, I, think, they're, I think they're more than just a little bit hurt, John. Yeah, yeah. But and they're 220 they foot drop. No, but, I, but the, the original news on the national news that came out was that they were. They were just, they came out of it with just some scratches. Oh, really? I didn't see that. I saw kids. The there was two kids in the back that, yeah. that didn't get hurt, but the yeah. two adults in the front were pretty hurt, pretty bad. But well, they um, they got the people out by, they brought them up out on helicopters, you know, to get them out. But they left the car down there in the bottom of the cliff. <laughs> well, no, I, I heard that they put it on automatic and immediately went up. Okay. <laughs> is there any significance to the story that it is a Tesla? Well, I don't know, yeah. because, yeah. because of the political they're gonna, they're gonna put a light on it so people can watch out for the car and the curb there it could have been on auto drive maybe no they they, 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 were, they was, verified it was not yeah, yeah that was the so, first thing I, they did okay. i was a tesla owner uh before i moved and the damn car is the best damn car i have ever owned in that's my life that's what people tell me it yeah. is unbelievable there is nothing like driving a Tesla. I've had Mercedes. I've had a lot of cars. Mm-hmm. The Tesla was the toughest thing. I sold a house. I sold two cars. It, it was the toughest thing to sell for me was the Tesla. It really? It, it, would, it would self-destruct here. I put it on autopilot. Yeah. It would be like, I don't know what to do. I check out. <laughs> but I mean, it was driving from Virginia to New York. You put it in autopilot, and mm-hmm. half of your half of the stress of a six or seven hour drive is gone. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow. Mm. Hmm. This guy just keeps trying and keeps trying and keeps trying, and I keep. Well, let him in. What's his name? No, no, no. I don't want you to put up with it. He's he's he he's it's weird because he's the guy that tried to stand up naked, is it? No, no, no. This is a guy. Uh, were, you, uh, were you around last night? Yeah. yeah. He was He was the guy who went, I, I, heard, I heard this thing was on or whatever. and My first time. My first time, but he was like all oh, kind of weird, you know. And I didn't think he would fit in here because he really didn't know what we were doing. He was just calling to be calling something. But now he's just getting so... Uh, Maybe it's Brian's kid, the kid that came in and Brian was eating on the show and told Brian not to eat on the show. No. Yeah. He should have come back when I was on the show eating. (laughs) Maybe it's Phil. Brian. Brian, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean. Maybe it's Phil. You know. uh, know. Maybe it's Phil, yeah, really. I wish I could could just put him on a list not to. uh, uh... You mentioned Bree. Is Bree still in Dubai? Uh, No, no. no. No, he's in, uh, where is he now? He's Malaysia. in Malaysia. He's in Malaysia now, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something, Kuala wow. Lumpur or something Kuala like that. No, he was in there for a while, for a couple of years. And then but he's near to... Kuala Lumpur. He's not actually in, I, uh, think, I think he's in a suburb or something of Kuala Lumpur. But then again, that's such a small country. Everybody's a suburb of Kuala Lumpur, <laughs> you know. But uh, no, he's uh, you know he's his 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 life is interesting. I yeah. think he spent most of his life for the last fifteen twenty years not living in the United States. Yeah. You know, been on and he, he teaches at schools and things like that. So that's something you can do internationally. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what you do if you can't speak the language. 
that's the beauty of the Philippines is that most people here speak English, so it's not, I mean, it may be difficult to understand their accents and such, but at least you do, and every sign, street signs, everything is in English. Well, it's horrible that I picked a profession, okay, where I can't work in a foreign country because I'd have to know how to speak the language. There's a lot of English speaking radio here. Really? Oh. With people who are American or have American um, accents? I don't know. I don't listen that frequently, but my, my niece, uh, before she moved to Germany, she's Filipina. Mm -hmm. She worked in radio here, all in English. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, you know, and of course, having you now calling from the Philippines should up our Philippine listenership. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's just, what a crazy world we live in. It, it, you don't miss the politics in the United States, do you? I mean, it was getting nutty. I didn't miss it while I was there. I, I tuned out to most of it. I, it's, I find it silly. I find it sophomoric. Um, I, I don't know. I, I have no time for no patience for that kind of that silly things like a guy who's had eleven votes and doesn't walk away. Yeah. I just you know, it's it's become like another. I don't watch reality TV. It's it's become reality TV. Well, it, it, no doubt that reality TV has influenced the way we report the news. Okay, and, and like, we, you know, we got these. Uh, you know, we get back to this old thing. There were these four kids who got murdered. Okay, and for four or five weeks, at least once a day in the news, there was a story about they still haven't caught them. They still haven't caught them. They don't know this and it, big case. I don't know if you were around when it first started, but it's a, it was a big case. And um, when I started to think about it, they were three really cute girls. I mean, hot girls. I mean, they were, you know, they were very attractive. And the guy was a very attractive white guy. If these were four black kids, they'd say, well, those blacks are killing each other again. You know, but because it was four white kids, it made the news every day, you know, until they caught the guy that finally did it, you know. The Which, guy that finally did it thought he could outsmart the police by changing cars and driving back to the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he also, he, uh, uh, th this guy supposedly... Um, the way in which they caught him, they thought that the Moscow Police Department were just doofuses and weren't doing anything, but all they were doing was not telling the press anything, you know, because they didn't want to play their hand. And it turns out now they did everything right. You know, they, they, had, a, they had, had this guy as a suspect from almost a, two or three days in. Because the guy left a left a, a, a knife sheath at the the uh, at the at the crime scene and with his DNA the, on it. What? Having the guy as the suspect and arresting him are two different things. Yeah, but I mean, they followed him all over the country. They oh, yeah. didn't let him know he was being followed, and uh, yeah, they, you know, they but took all, their time. But all I'm saying they is, I get back to get I, a solid case. I get back to the original story because these were. Four really attractive white kids, it made it was a big news story. Absolutely. But if it were four even attractive black kids, it wouldn't have made the news like it did. You know. When did this happen? Uh, this happened about a month, a month or five weeks ago. Yep. In what state? In um, where Idaho. 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 And he was uh, the, the these kids were <laughs> literally murdered. Uh, I don't know if they were in their sleep or whatever, but they were, they were a guy used a machete or something like that. Stabbed yeah. them to death or something. Yeah. yeah. You should have went to Yellowstone Park. You can do it there and not get convicted. Why is that? Because there's no jurisdiction in, in the part of the, in a part where Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho meet. If you murder somebody in that area, it's in the park. You you can't get well, a jury. Well, on on, 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 on on Yellowstone, when they have somebody they don't like, okay, uh, and they want to take them out, they say, "Well, we're taking you to the train station," and the train station is this cliff that they throw them over because it's in between a bunch of counties where there's <laughs> no law or anything. 
So that's they kind of, kind of were referring to that, I think, on yeah, Yellowstone. Yeah, well, it's a federal property. It's controlled by the feds, the federal police, the FBI, or somebody. Well, no, yeah, of course. I mean, it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't test it. In well, court. thank you for telling our whole audience if they want to murder somebody, where they can yeah. go. And that's where we do it. You know. <laughs> We like to think that we on this program manage to help people's lives just a little bit better, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, I uh, I you know I agree with you, um, Rob. You know, I mean, this country is just just insane, you know. And 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 I can understand why you're. I I imagine you're happy to be where you are, right? Yeah, I didn't move out of the country because of that. I moved out of the country because I have a wife who's significantly younger than me. Mm -hmm. And when I, I, I retired with a gun to my head this past July because this job I accepted was too big for me. There was too much going on. I was asked to retool myself again, recertify, relearn all this new stuff. By the time I would have done that, I would have been, I'm 60, I'll be 66 next week. Mm -hmm. I would be 67, 68. What am I doing it for? So I decided it's time to go. It's time to end it. And yeah. I, I, I wanted to work longer. Had I stayed at my old job, I would have. Yeah. So when it started affecting my health, the stress, I said, I'm, that's it. I'm retiring. My wife is only 42. She can't retire. She needs medical. Right. Yeah. And in order for her to in order, for, I would be home alone every day. You know, she'd be working. I'd be home for her medical benefits. So we decided if we come here, live like a king and we both retire and we could travel and you could do whatever we want to do. I don't have to worry about yeah. working. So that's why we move, not because of politics. Or well, because you're able to get Social Security now, right? Absolutely. My Social Security here is right. more than doctors and lawyers earn here. Really? Really? Yes. Wow. Considered wealthy on Social Security. Yeah, well, maybe we'll just pack up and come out and uh, join you. All right. I have yeah. a, this is a three-bedroom. It's small. It's only about, this is just a rental till we figure out where we want to build. Uh, this is costing me 340 bucks a month. That's cheaper than my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> It's cheaper so, than my little studio in the Timberwolves. Yeah. <laughs> or were, were you around for that when I finally got my new rent? You, yeah. you have a new rent now. Yeah. You settled? Yeah. The Philippines have you know, universal health care? You've been to my place. They do. Um, I, next week, though, I'm, I'm not going to use what they call Phil Health, is the, uh, is the universal health care here. I'm going to get a policy. That, 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 by the way, in case people n don't know, that's Phil Meyer is insuring everybody in the <laughs> Philippines. Well, you know how reliable that is, right? <laughs> but uh, no, I'm going to be going next week uh, to, uh, I, I've got an appointment with a company called Pacific Health, Pacific, yeah. whatever it is. And I, uh, I'm going to sit down with them and talk about a policy Somewhere in the pre of a range of about three grand a year, thirty five hundred a year, will insure me medical coverage here. Even if you get cancer, if you get, you know, serious stuff, you could if you insure yourself for a half a million um, pesos, uh, you're in really good shape. That's thirty five uh, cents, by the way. Uh, half a million pesos. <laughs> it's about fifty four pesos to the dollar. Right there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I mean, so, so do they have socialized medicine there for the, no. for the, no, no, they have Phil health, which is a, uh, government, uh, health insurance plan. That's very inexpensive and you can go to any of the public hospitals here, private hospitals. You can't use it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it sounds, I mean, you know, I mean, uh, I would move somewhere else, you know, to another country. But I just, you know, it, it, there's just no place that's cheap enough. So maybe the Philippines is a good idea. You know. So, yeah, you, you could live here on, I would say, a minimum of $2,000 a month. Oh, wow. you got to like, like hurricanes a lot. And that's going out to restaurants and... You can live wow, very really? well on about two thousand dollars a month. Wow. wow. Well, I can't leave here because I can't give up this rent. You know, at least Did you rent there. Oh, five hundred a month. Can't wow. you sublease your place? Huh? No. That's how we got. That's how the trouble started. I, that's in, how I the know. trouble started in the first place. I, I at five hundred, I, I don't need to sublet. 
Okay. No, no. You That's know. great. Wow. And how long yeah. is, that, is that good for as long as you stay there? Well, you know, they could have appealed the judge's uh, decision, but it's been a year now since the judge came down with the decision, and I don't think they're going to appeal it. Wow. You know, they, they, probably wow. figure, they probably figure those two old coots are going to be dead anyway soon, so why spend, the, why spend the legal fees to do it? You know, that's a tremendous place you got. I was there. Yes, I know. I know. And so how how do I how do I get how do I say goodbye to this? You know, I mean, you're right there in New York City. Where where are you going? In the middle of the city. Yeah. Yeah. What a great deal. Yeah. Well, you've been here, Rob, right? Have you come to our Yeah. Yeah. So you Mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. And uh, but it's it's, I'm happy for you, you know, that you're that you don't have any uh, movers remorse. No, yeah. no stress, and no stress. Every day I wake up and it's stress free. Yeah. All I have to think about is my radio station and what I'm eating for dinner. Yeah, your little radio rock. station is called what again? Retro Rocks. Retro Rocks, and it you just uh, go online to it, and uh, are you still paying? Uh, you, can, you still paying the royalties for the music and everything? Yeah. Yes. yes. Really? Oh, okay. Uh, All legal. What kind of li- listenership do you have? Yeah, well, I, you know, not great. <laughs> That's the same. I just, I just created a new, it's a hobby. I don't, I'm never looking to make money off of it. If I, if that ever happens and great, I just updated the apps. I got a new app for my smart, for, for iPhones and, and Androids. Um, yeah. And uh, it ha- now I've got the capability of being able to share with listeners what's coming up over the weekend, what special programming we got going on like i've got an interview sunday morning not me but one of the shows i run if anybody's a yes fan this uh sunday morning at 10 eastern there's an interview with uh rick wakeman it's an hour with rick wakeman and his music so um wow that's good yeah. well it's, it's, uh, it's called retro what rocks ladies and yeah. gentlemen retro you rocks, one word. put that in your browser and it, it'll show up and I, i've heard it i've heard alive. it it's a lot of fun to listen to you know Good listen. I did. I didn't know Rick Wakeman was still alive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the you know you lost. Uh, we lost uh, Alan White and I'm sorry. Yeah, Alan White and Chris Squire. Emerson. It's Emerson, wasn't? Keith Emerson, Emerson I believe passed. Yeah. 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 Wasn't Rick Wakeman in that band with Emerson Lake and Palmer? No. no. Otherwise, no. it would be called Emerson yeah. Lake and Wakeman. <laughs> you know. Which sounds like a law firm. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> What was it? Maybe you want to. Uh, Brian, what was the law firm we came up with last night? I forget now. Oh. Uh, I, my door. I can't remember it. Anyway, yeah, I don't do remember. we cheat him and how? Oh. Uh, do we cheat him and how? Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Oh, well, I got about another minute left. I hope we see Rob before we. Isn't leave. that the playbook of the Republican Party? How we cheat him and how? Do we yeah. cheat him and how? Oh, do we cheat do him we and how? Cheat him and how? Right. I think, yeah, yeah, okay. I that. Uh, anyway, uh, where we, we, we lost. Uh, he just somebody was at his right? door. Huh? Somebody was at the door. Oh, I hate yeah. to say goodbye to him. I uh, hate to go, leave without being able to say goodbye. Um, but anyway, uh, Jack is here again tonight. Uh, I spent an, two hours with him today on his machine fixing stuff for him. So hopefully everything's going to be fine. <sighs> Keep my fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, Rob, is, uh, you know, let me let me play the theme here. Can I, can I start playing it? Uh, sure, why not? Um, uh, Rob, you got to call us more often now. You got all the yeah. time in the world to call us now. Yeah, only like 12, 1230 or one o'clock, right? What time is it there? It's about almost one, 1 p.m. 1 yeah. p.m. Oh, hey, wow. No God, you know, you can you call us and then go out and crash into a couple of mopeds, you know? Like I said, I would have done it already. It's just that I forget. I'm, I'm like, ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the guy was going to be just call, yeah, call Uber and then wait for him. You know, uh, hey, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Josh. I really appreciate you calling. It's always it, between you and Charlie. We had like the brain, the brain trust here at the beginning of the show. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you to uh, Alan. Thank you. Always good to see uh, 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 John. Uh, and we should see you more often. Rob, call us, call us, call us, call us, call us. Okay. And uh, Kevin, you didn't say anything tonight, Kevin. Something. Okay, there we go. 
And Brian was kind of quiet tonight, too. Uh, okay, we're catching up with Rob. That's good. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see them. Uh, we'll see another panel tomorrow night, same time, same station in life, at uh, nine at ten thirty Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Good night, everybody.